in the mix again for this. We are going to look at some DeFi coins as we look a little bit at how... I'm not going to do this that often, every couple of days, every two to three days, because, you know, I want to give it a chance to build up in terms of the um, the DAOs. Uh, but it's something that I want to get done for these organization. And so I had to, um, well, let's just be real, hit one over the head with a pistol to um, send some more money in to, to be able to do a little bit more. And I want to show everybody here today um, a way to possibly get... Not necessarily, maybe some airdrops. So, you know, airdrops, for those who don't know, are when you work with a protocol, use it before a, it is, as it's building up through the beta testing, and as reward for those individuals who use the protocol, who do different various tasks on it, they are given tokens of that protocol, and then to do as they wish, and that's an airdrop. Now, it can be different airdrops. NFTs can be airdrops. Non-fungible tokens can be airdrops. But those are one air, some airdrops that happen in protocols, like Uniswap has given, uh, Pancake Swap, Ave, a lot of these um, DeFi coins. Um, I can never pronounce this, but that I remember when all this came out. Compound, um, synthetic, 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 synthetic. Curve, I remember before Curve had a coin. So a lot of these had airdrops for people using their protocol. And a lot of people made a lot, a lot of money off of this. So I've got three things that I think that you can use in tandem to, because I used one, two of them. I learned about them, used those. And then the third thing came, which kind of marries the two together. So my thought now is instead of wasting the money, not wasting, but it, with gas, feel like you're wasting it. Because you have to, and I'll explain when we get there. I'm not going to go into all that yet. But we're going to talk about some airdrops that potentially we all can get in on. And I'll show you. So I had to get a little bit more money of Ethereum into the uh, wallet. But we're on uh, Polygon now. So let's jump to where we're going to go. Just really briefly, and we'll come through these when we come through the Terra Chainlink. These are the big giant DeFi coins. Uniswap die. Uh, grab, you, you, know, you can see Olympus on. What are we in with this climate as well as snowbank? I wonder if we can search in this. Probably so. Yeah, you can search here. Let's see if uh, climate is on here. It's 139 according to this. But this may be just in general where it's on here. I'm not sure if it's under the DeFi coin part red or uh, it's just under coins. I'm just, I was just thinking about DeFi coins, top DeFi coins. And we're not worried about the price. Remember, we're not worried about the price any of that. It's just do you get more every day? Just going through. Oh, Badger uh, Dow. Somebody in a group, a uh, text group mentioned Badger Dow. I had to look into the Badger Dow protocol. Go back and see. That's how you, you, you help everybody else see the file. So look at all of these DeFi coins for these. Dexes, decentralized exchanges, pancake swap, you need to see how much uh, volume is going through them on a daily basis. A billion dollars for pancake and uni swap. I think Binance Coin is, <clears throat> excuse me, um, pancake and Ethereum and Polygon. Forget which one also runs on Uniswap. The Sushi Swap is the other one, Trader Joe. So, you know, we've been using this Radium, Curve, Finance, and all of these, using them in advance, some of them gave you airdrops. So, we're going to look at some things today that are layer two solutions for Ethereum that may be giving airdrops out. So, but we'll get into it. Scare me for a second. See where we're at the climb. So I don't remember where we were at yes. I know we were at five one yesterday, but I don't know the other two numbers. We have five one nine nine now. So we have five one. Things appear to be on track. So I said we'll do this over a course of a, a two or three days as opposed to climb has gone down in price. So the uh We'll do this over the course of two or three days. The updates for anyone who's interested in 
then that way, um, yeah, hopefully it has a little bit more. So now we'll switch over to Avalanche and go to Snowbank. Let's see where we at here. What as I called it, a complete DGN. I wouldn't be surprised this is gone, guys. I'm telling you, as I on a daily basis. All right, I don't remember what we had from that. I remember we had point oh eight yesterday, but I don't remember past. I mean, the two eight, uh, the two zeros in the eight yesterday. I have this all, of course, somewhere else, and I'm gonna pin put it in there. So that's what that farm has done, and look at our APR has come down to the billions, you know. So past the trillions, down to the billions now. Five minutes. Oh, five minutes to the next rebase. And I'll just put us at uh, close to almost getting a point nine. So, keep it. Oh, well, let's see. Let me move this a little bit. What did it say? Oh, 32% five days now. It's coming down. How much money has gone into this now? Maybe. Wow. 68. So, about almost doubled overnight. Okay. Look at Snowbank. Trying to make some moves, but it's going to bring down our AP, our um, APY, but but the runaway is increasing. Are people minting? Yeah, I, I saw in the uh, Discord, they're talking about you can now mint Snowbank with uh, AVAX. Snowbank with them. Okay. I'm, hey, maybe we just got lucky and got in one early. I mean. Sometimes you get wins in the game. I mean, a lot of times you get wins. Sometimes you win all the time. We we do nothing but win. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, not yet. I think it's on begging me. I guess I see what I gotta I have to take that one out. We may not. So it's a third. Well, I said one, two, three, and it's a fourth one that I'm going to show you. But I I don't have a Twitter attached to. Of a, a second Twitter, I should say uh, that you know to get the extra. Um, I'll get to that in one later, but so I'll, and I will show that fourth one. I'm not greedy just because I can't show it on this uh, with this wallet. We'll show. So Snowbank doing fine. So let's jump into these airdrop. So the two um, things you want to look up here, if you can't see, is Gateway or or Optimism. Optimism, Ethereum, Crypto is what I would put in Google for that one. And the other is Arbitrum, uh, Ethereum, or Arbitrum, Ethereum, Crypto. So you need a bridge to... So what What are these? Let me just explain what they are. Then they'll probably make more sense of what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and, and accept and connect to all this stuff. Um, connect connect so all right i have they say if i need to to be on the wrong the right network but i can i have the right network the Ar arbitrum um arbitrum i went to that chain list.org and was able to type this in and um so you can see i'm already connected on my layer one balance and let's go to this gateway connect my wallet here metamask i'm about to switch over to um I'm going to have to switch over to their, their, their network as well because everybody is on my back about these stupid networks. I can't see the stupid thing unless it... Okay. Okay, well, that's even better if I can move down here. Uh, connect. Okay, no, no, no. But I, 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 so. And this is um, optimistic Ethereum. So now... It'd be like, okay, boom. Now it's all happy because I'm on there. So you're going to have to put these networks in. Um, optimistic, the optimistic one. Here, let me just go here and show you. So go to chainlist.org and, you know, that, that's pretty much vetted. I, I double checked everything there because I'm paranoid. I'm, uh, you could, and I highly recommend you do the same thing. So I go there and, and just Google how you can do it manually because you can manually input. So manually, to do a manual input, you would go here to uh, custom and then you can put the name 
the RPC URL, the chain ID, the currency symbol, block ID. You can do all that manually, and that's how you you know normally put it in. Or you can do it the way I showed you where I went to, um, you know, you can get all this information. And you can double check that it's the right information before you input it with the chain ID and the, what's the name from on chain list? The chain ID and the currency symbol they have on chain list. But these are all the, uh, I mean, look here, you can screenshot. If you want to screenshot this now, how did I move this earlier? Okay, it's not letting me do that, but okay. Um, so... Maybe I can do it. Well, don't screenshot this because my stupid face is all in the way. Uh, if I go back here, uh, settings. Well, let me move it. Okay, it's not letting me move it. Um, let me do it this way. Oh, no, it's hidden back there. Mumbling to myself. Sorry. But anyway, so chain list dot org is where you can go and get all the things I just showed you or you can input them manually what I, what I did because I'm paranoid like I said is I pulled up what it's supposed to be looked and made sure the chain list matched that and then hit okay on the chain list one so unless it changed from yesterday they seem to be it was all good just a week ago you know just a day ago so Okay, good. Um, what what is this? What am, what am I showing you? What is what is all this? Right? Why is this important? Very good question. These are called layer two solutions for Ethereum. So Ethereum, imagine is the layer one, like Bitcoin's layer one is the is is what everybody um, will you know build off of on. So like the base layer of your your foundation. And so you have such a strong foundation with Ethereum. Someone said, well, look, if we build a second layer on it, we can do other things and still have the stability of our foundation. And so Optimistic and Arbitrum and this other one uh, that keep bothering me to connect my wallet to it. And I, I, I had to. Um, the other one, I, I would have to uh, connect. I would do. I don't. Um, it's not on chain list, so I have to get the um, the thing and type it in. And I have not to switch the network. Uh, yeah, I'm fine going back to Ethereum. And that's the this one here. So what I may just show you is just just deposit money here. And I actually minted my first NFT on this one. So I did win here, put up like a little meme I made and meme, and then minted it. So, um, but all that costs gas will it cost gas to send over to it you know even if i just want to send like ten dollars over i gotta i gotta spend like a hundred bucks it sucks with ethereum right now the gas fees not gonna lie so oh getting all this focus going back to these uh i think i'm gonna do optimism optimistic i say optimism but optimistic so <clears throat> The layer two, why they're important, is that they get rid of the gas fees. That layer two has found ways to it, it speed up the confirmation times and the transmission without costing the amount in gas. And so with that, as you can imagine, is awesomeness. The problem is, you know, this may or may not be a problem, depending on how you look at it, to put money on um optimism or to put money on arbitrum you have to bridge it over from layer one to layer two which costs gas so you got to spend money right but once it's there then it's cheaper to move it around but if you want to bring it back it's going to cost gas and it's going to take a week and now if you're reading this it's going to take longer than that uh due to the upcoming upgrade you know there's gonna, uh all pending draws will not be reliable until november 18th so remember this is in beta I think it says that somewhere. Oh, let me bookmark this on this side and bookmark any of these over here. Um,
it just takes seven seven um so this is in beta so you know expect that it's going to be some um hiccups in the game so that's my point now the third thing i'm going to show you so those were three if you you know interact with those three things um zk sync and i'm gonna show you i'm gonna go through everything um really briefly optimism and arbitrum Maybe by interacting with them, you may get airdrops of their tokens when they drop their tokens. The third thing, well, I'll take a third, but now we'll be fourth in the way I'm explaining, is what's called Hop Exchange. Now, Hop Exchange is a layer two solution solution, which means it allows you to send information, Ethereum, and other things between. And this thing has been killing me for, I think I'm was on, I need to be on Polygon for this. I tried to cancel this thing. Peru saying, saying what? I know I did. Maybe it's on one of these other ones. No. I was uh, trying to play with this a little bit yesterday. I'll admit. Uh, Ethereum. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Anyway. So Hop Exchange allows you to send information between. I show you right here. You can see. Polygon, the main net, Ethereum, Polygon, Dai, Optimism, and Arbitrum. So if I have now here um, on my main net, let's switch this to ETH. You can see my ETH here. And so now if I try, if I not try, if I send it to my Optimism, I can see, let's say I want to send 0.02 ETH there. How much you charging me? Oh my gosh, two hundred dollars to do this. See how much they're charging to do this? Max point oh seven. Oh my! I want to just bust my head into this screen. But the reason why I'm doing this, as I said, is so that I now used Hop to send something to Optimism. So now I've used two of the sites, and now I'm about to hop money back and forth between we'll hop some money over to arbitrum and then lastly and this is kind of going just nutty back i'm going to go to uniswap i think i'm on i'm on eth i'm going to go to uniswap but on optimism arbitrum and i'm going to put like 10 bucks into a liquidity. I'm going to swap for something else and then put like $10 into a liquidity pool over here. Just to have done that on this net, on both networks. I'm going to do that on both networks. I may not show all of that on here. That may be too tedious. So I may pause in between that. So let me go back to see where I am at my exchange. Your transfer to five minutes after is confirmed. So I may pause this and where I would see this would be on my optimism bridge. Am I on? Okay, I'm not on optimism. Let me switch over to, sorry, I keep saying optimism, optimistic. Switch over to optimistic, connect my wallet. And when my Ethereum arrives here, I'll come back to it. And actually, then I'm going to hop some over to Arbitrum. And then I'm going to put use them both on Uniswap to add some liquidity to some. Just, like I said, just pennies. But enough to where, A, you'll see how cheap the fees are on these Layer 2. And I'm using the Layer 2. So this is kind of a way you can kill a bunch of birds with one stone. So while that's happening, why don't I figure out what's going on with this ink wallet? So I have to send it over here. Now, the thing with this is they have a Uniswap on the Z <coughs> sync, but you have to connect your wallet. And they are going to add this to you. Okay, so they added it. Okay, I don't remember it at the time. So they added their test net. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. X, back, reject, cancel, or I don't want to do that. Say so we're rejecting my confirmations. So they add their test net. Now, the 
So definitely go, um, if you have Twitter, go check this out or make a Twitter and go check this out, which is what I did to be quite honest. I'll go make a Twitter anyway, so this is just motivating a little bit faster. Like literally, I was doing it that day anyway, but I said, okay, that, that's the second reason to do it. Anyway, once you connect your wallet to this, you know, use their, it's going to be in a test net. You connect your wallet to this. And so this one, this this right here, the one we just went into, um, oh, shoot, I don't know. Did I bounce to a different one or something? Okay, you know, this site here, the you can see it there. Um, you know, type in all this stuff you see on the screen until you get to this right site. It's um, uni.zksync.io. Um, but, you know, be safe as you go to any of these sites. Be very smart about it. Um, so this is all a test site, right? So you go to this site. And when you connect your wallet and they and they give you the test net to jump on, and you jump on a test net, they say some they connect you somehow where if you tweet out what you just did, they give you fake coins to play with. So actually, let me show you that on a different wallet. So here you can see that <clears throat> I have um, they give you some fake die link wrap Bitcoin and USD. And I just been come over here, you know, every couple of days and just say, all right. Where am I at? Everything is like half and half for the most part. Boom. Okay, let's go do some link and die. Do some link. Switch it to die. I'm going to do half of my link. Go on 33. Do a swap. Confirm the swap. And I just want to say how quickly. You know, this is all test stuff for them. It gives them a sense of how fast their transactions. 0.3 seconds. And so I say, okay. Good, and USD. Let's swap for some Bitcoin. Every couple of days, just come in here, play with it, do a quick swap. So this is what, what swaps are. So they're using like a bit of a uni swap in this. And they're, you know, getting their test data. And at some point, maybe they'll drop a token. You know, they air drop a token to my wallet for... You and I've joined their Discord, so on their site, um, I don't know where, I, where, somewhere I found the Discord. Oh, it might maybe is at about uh, oh, on their Twitter, I think I found their Discord. So I joined the Discord, and, uh, you know, check and keep an eye on things in there, ask questions every now and then, just read, learn more about things. So that's um, check out. Um, Z, ZK Sync. So, you know, like I said, if you want to connect your wallet here, get their test net, tweet out the information, get the, the fake coins in, and play with it back and forth, just swapping them. It's just play. It ain't real money. And on their wallet, I did deposit real Ethereum. And see here, I can add um, this is their address. So I can. Um, No balance there, please. Have, have fun. Request money from somebody I wish. Let me see. Who I got my contacts? I don't, don't know nobody. Nobody gonna give me no monies. I think that sent it to myself. I guess I sent this look like my address. Uh filter balances. Make the I can't find a token. Choose a token. Okay, that's like my wallet. Oh, it's a bridge. I'm missing a bridge. It's a bridge somewhere. After no, 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 no. It balances in L two. How did I bridge money to this wallet? Hmm. Guys, I can't remember at the at the moment. Okay, somehow I was able to select token, filter balance. Well, let me just try this. Filter balances and L one token. Choose a token. Okay, Ethereum isn't a token I can choose. 
You don't got a capitalized E for this mug? No. Can't find a token. Hmm. After, I'm not going to keep you all. Let me just pause and just figure it out real quick. I'm such a bonehead. So to add funds, A, make sure you're on Ethereum mainnet. Remember I told you if you couldn't find something, couldn't figure something out, check your network. Make sure you're on Ethereum mainnet. So let me go to select tokens now. I could see if I wanted to, I could send in some money from here. If I can do it for super cheap, I would, but I bet it's going to... Yeah, I'm not paying $60 for this, man. I'm not paying $60 for this, dog. Well, I don't know, man. If I can get my boy... Get my guys and Elkins, let me see what's up. Uh, stopping me, so maybe that means I'm not supposed to. That's all I got left for that. You know what, man? We're going, we going big, though, son. Sorry for mumbling at times as I think to myself about these things. Oh, good. No, just a little bit. Give me that. Give me that blue. Boom. So put a little bit of just a tiny bit of money over here on um, the zinc wallet. Not going to do anything with it over there. Um, I may get one of my guys who do have another Twitter account to... Um, I may try to set it up so I can set it up and then play with it. That may be an idea with that. But let's get back to maybe I wasted enough time vamping to. Okay, yeah, boom. From mainnet to boom, we got it here on our on um on um I'm all excited like a little baby in it on uh, here on our um, optimistic. So here, let's go over here. Let's go to optimistic. Let's go here to Arbitrum. Can I send something? Just can't send. No, I don't want to send that much. I would send all one. Switch. How much you charging me for it? Man, that's a card of error. That's the first time I seen that. Let's go back over here. Open up MetaMask. Open up MetaMask. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't see. Uh, so that should go pretty fast. I might have to, when I do these videos, put it on the other side. Remind, refresh me, my memory that next time. Let me see if I can. All right, let's refresh this. Sorry for the long video, but I'm just showing you. Hey, I'm trying to make y'all some money, Mike. You know I'm trying to you know I mean, me? Try to make you some money, Mike. Try to make me some money. So here, let's go to Arbitrum. Uh, what the heck is that? I guess that's what my ETH look like over here. All right, anyway, so last bit of it, go to do a pool, do a new position. What do we have? I sent ETH. We'll do ETH with, uh, actually, I got to do a swap first. So my balance. Um, that's not what I'm already on. Come on, man. You should have gave me that, dude. I was right there. You should have gave me that. Well, now I'm pushing it like completely out of the way. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, come on. Yeah, I'm going to say give it to me. All right. What we got here? Uh, that's my ETH. I'm going to swap for, let's do something simple like, you just go with link, but 
I'm going to try USD this time. Um, so I'm just going to put over. Uh, shoot. Point zero zero four. You know what? Let's go with three. Five. And we're going to swap that. Confirm the swap. So I have that much now uh, balance, and now I'm going to a pool, and I'm at a new position, Ethereum with USD. Uh, I'm going to go with that 0.3% fee tier, 98%. Select that. I'm going to put in... The max of what I just bought in USD. Well, I have insufficient probably balance to pay the minting costs. Insufficient. Ba How? No, 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 no. That's not my max. I don't know. That's not. I should be putting in uh, something like, yeah, they tripping. Zero, zero. Wait, no, no, no. Two zeros and a three. How did I get so much USD? I mean, I'm not complaining. Oh, maybe I already had. Maybe I already had. Mm. Maybe they. Mm. Oh, what? Well, how is that equivalent? How is that the same? This is what I'm doing, right? Up here. All right, man. Can I do it? Improve. Move that preview and in the pool. Ah, I don't have enough money. Let me see. I have to send probably some money from that Arbitrum back to this one. All right, let's reject this then. Close. I know, I know. No bridge here. Where's my wallet for this? The bridge. You're on the wrong network, oh. I swear. Everybody says prima donnas with their networks. But I hear you. I hear you. All right, I got my balance there. But I'm going to have to send it back because I need it over on my um, optimism. But that's cool because guess what? Now we're using hop more. I'm just only going to send over, let's say, point. Oh, wait a second. Maybe I don't have to. Maybe if I just, was that Uniswap? Maybe if I just put less money in. Let's try that. I don't know. Wait, what am I doing? ETH? Hold on, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. Let's go to Optimism here. And then do USD. Because they had a completely, you see, yeah, a completely different what they um, recommended for their. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not trying to be tough. Boom. Oh, we can do it with this. So, yeah, let's just do it like that. Because I want to do the same thing with Arbitrum. So I just know I could. Uh, so now we have a liquidity pool. Guys, you saw now, not only we're doing a lot of DeFi stuff today. I'm going a bit long. I apologize. So, But I think it's fascinating to kind of learn this stuff. So what happens here, and I'm, I'm not going to go into what a liquidity pool is, but basically you, your bank, you're allowing people, whoever is going into on the optimistic network and is trading Ethereum for USD, like they come in with USD coin and getting Ethereum or taking their Ethereum and getting USD they pay a fee for it. I get a percentage of that fee. How much my percentage is? Super low. You see how much money I put in. But because of that, I bought this basically NFT, this non-fungible token showing my position in the blockchain of my position of this liquidity pool. So, But that's a long story for another time. The only reason why I'm um, doing that is, like I said, I'm in here trying to use these networks to see if I can get... Gotta go to swap first. 
use these networks, Uniswap on Arbitrum, start trading this beta, use these networks to, we'll do the same thing. We'll, we'll do a bit of a um, comparison with these as well. We'll check these out. We add these to the mix of things we're looking at, these liquidity pools on these two different um, bridges. And I probably should come really quick and do it over with Ethereum, but it costs too much. It costs too much. Um, switch to like, let me get that much. All right. So we got our, let's start a new position and I'm, I'm going fast. I apologize. So this Uniswap, what do you can do? You can swap between tokens. If I want to swap between, you know, I think we did a little bit of this um, another day. You can swap through all these different tokens. And I mean, it's literally a lot. Second time I saw Badger. We may, we may be going into Badger soon, everyone. I'm going to do some research on it <laughs> tonight. But so that's the swap in a pool is, like I said, you're basically allowing your money to be used to trade and because of that you get a um a piece of the fees according to how much your um amount of the whole pool is there so if you got one percent of the pool and and you guys do a hundred dollars worth of uh, business you get a, a a dollar you know so we're gonna do a new position i'm gonna do ethereum and usd and so here, this is the one most people select. Okay. Um, I'm fine with that. Oh, don't tell me no. there's no liquidity pools with this one. Or... Okay, you see that it may experience downtime during the may earn no fees and there may be no top pools. So what the top pools are normally, yes, USD and Ethereum are usually the top pools. Okay, yeah, I'm not crazy. It's the ETH USD pool. So let me do the point five. Let me let me go back or something. Maybe I'm tripping. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, it just may be downtime. All right, I'll come back and try again another time. So I'll, I'm going to do the same thing you just saw me do with the optimism here. Um, and let's go see if our funds arrived. to say just seeing if our funds arrive to our ZK sync wallet but it's now all crazy so okay your deposit has been mine will be processes will be processed okay so Boom. All right. So I got my little money there. Come in an NFT if I want it. Oh, I have to. Oh, I have to check that out. Make sure I sign it up. Well, I'm not going to keep you guys much longer. I know we were supposed to get a. Let me move this down a little bit. We were supposed to get a rebase for one of these. I think it was. Snowbank. And if so, let's see where we at right in this All right. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, sorry. Um, oh, it's, it's that. Oh, maybe I have to refresh. I was about to say. They saying it's still five minutes again. I don't boo boo the fool. And now it's going like that. All right. 
So number changed eight seven seven one. All right, and it's steady coming down. Well, everyone, you know how the game go. I love you. You love you. God loves us, and that's all that matters.